Hi, kid. So, so many of us love to see movie magic, but this lady right here loved the idea of creating movie magic. So when I first saw that this book existed, Lottie's Magical Paper Puppets, the woman behind the first animated feature film, I was like, what? I need to read this. I don't know anything about this woman and her puppets and, and, and filmmaking and, oh, oh, Maleficent. Oh, what, 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 what? I'm on my way to the Batcave. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, just, just a quick second. I mean, you've been in the movies. Uh, have you heard of Lottie? I've not been in the movies. Well, of course you have. You're Maleficent. You've been in many. No, 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 no. Those were all imposters. Not me. I'm a one of a kind and I'm very private. I like to be left alone. No movies. Okay, um, well anyway, uh, this cannot be right. Oh, oh, hey, she loves a giraffe, why not? Everybody knows that puppets cannot be made of paper. They must be made of wood and be French. Ooh la la. Oh, um, I actually don't technically think that that's- oh, 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 this is just crazy talk. Dill, Dill, do you look a little different? Oh, I stayed in the brine a little too long, but everybody knows that to be a puppet, you need to be made of pickle juice. Oh, yup, 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 yup. Um, I actually don't think that that's a thing. Pickle juice, and that sounds kind of you know, weird. Oh, hey, 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 everybody. Oh, hey, Green Bear. Um, this book is already wrong. Oh, you too. Yeah, well, everybody knows that puppies need to be soft and furry and adorable and run for president one day. So that's my two cents on it. Oh, okay, well, okay. Nobody here believes it, but you know what? I want to see what this book is about. You want to come figure it out with me? Because I want to know about this. Puppet, paper puppets, magic, she's cutting things. And plus the cover is just kind of beautiful and makes me think of an old fashioned fairy tale and I just, I need to look. Here we go. The woman behind the first animated feature film. How is it that I've never heard of somebody like this, right? We should know about this person. Long before a cartoon mouse, hey, are they talking about you know who? I think so. Or Snow White found a little house. I think they're talking about that Snow White too. Yeah, they are. There was a little girl named Charlotte. Everyone called her Lottie. Lottie loved the cinema, the way the actors danced and swayed, music's playful serenade. Everyone clapped and smiled. The cinema was magic. Look at that. That does look magical. Lottie wanted to make her own magic. So she gathered up some things, a stack of cards, some wiry string, scissors that <coughs> snip, snip, snipped. Then Lottie made some puppets. Huh? Cinderella, always sweeping. A beauty in the castle, sleeping. Where, 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 where? Is it right around here somewhere? Is she sleeping around here somewhere? Oh, maybe she's cutting it right now. Two loves torn apart, a love struck heart, and a star so bright. All these things she's cutting up and making. But for magic, Lottie needed the cinema. For the cinema, she needed film. And she needed more puppets. A clockwork pony flying, leaping. A trove of treasure, treasure for reaping. Let's see what else. A princess, true. The good witch who saves the prince, Ahmed. What about a bad witch? Well, this is her story and I thought you didn't even want to be in the movies. Oh, I don't. I don't even know why I came here. Well, actually, I do know why. Why did you come here? Well, because you said witch. So I feel like I should always show up and be like, me, 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 me. It should be all about me. Is, is this about me? Mm -mm. Ugh! She said she didn't want to be in the movies and now she wants to be in the movies. Who understands her? Then Lottie found a lamp of brass, a table and a pane of glass, a camera that click, click, clicked, but she still needed film. Do you know what she's doing right now? She is actually creating a camera system right now with the glass and the lamps and so, but we need the film. Her good friend said, we understand, we have dreams too, we'll lend a hand, and gave her lots of film, rolls and rolls and rolls of beautiful, glorious film. At last, Lottie was ready for the cinema, ready for magic. Her paper puppets danced and swayed. Music played a serenade. Lights wink, wink, winked. Everybody clapped and smiled. Look at that, what do we have here? Birds and a prince on a flying horse and another incredible sort of dragon sort of bird and some sort of an angelic creature here. And these two are dancing. Everybody's like, ah, oh, oh, 
looking up. Almost everyone, oh, what, 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 what? A man rose up in Lottie's land. With twisted words, he clenched his hand and made demands that he command all magic. What? His words made many people scared. Soon sounds of fighting filled the air with sirens blaring, fires flaring, guns that tata tata tatted. Lottie was afraid too. So she gathered up her things, her lamp and glass, her wiry string, her camera and scissors. What is happening right now? Oh, I think war has broken out. And she ran from hateful words and poisoned air, desperate for a new land where no sirens blared, no fires flared, and her magic was safe. You know what's happening? World War II. Lottie lives in Germany, and World War II is happening right now, and she's having to pack up and run for her life. For many years, Lottie roamed, searching for another home. That's hard. All the while, she made more puppets. A young boy, up a chimney creeping. A true heart, stolen for the keeping. A cat in boots, a magic flute. And the hero, Papagino. I hope I said that right. Look at that. These look like, this kind of almost looks like a Peter Pan-like figure. All the creatures. She's looking for a home. These pictures are so beautiful, aren't they? Then one day, Lottie had to go back to help her mother, dearly missed, back to the land with the men and their fists. So back to Germany. They ordered Lottie to make new puppets, puppets made to fight and to fright and scare, with hands that clench and eyes that glare and drums that brum, brum, brum. But Lottie was done being afraid. She feared no fist, no gun, no hand. Her magic lived by no command. So instead she made a lovely princess, always weeping, a young man to her castle leaping, a goose made of gold, a sight to behold, to make the princess laugh. She hung her puppets up to share, in window panes, in shops, upstairs, through smoky air, while, while everywhere, through smoky air, bombs boom, boom, boomed. But her puppets made the people smile, made them remember song and rhyme and days from once upon a time. Until at last there rose a cheer. The war is done. No one could hear sirens blaring, fires flaring, guns that tat tat tatted. So once again, with joyful heart, Lottie gathered up her art and set her magic free. The war is done. Now she can go off and fulfill all her dreams. In cinemas, both near and far, the people watched in wondrous awe as Lottie's puppets danced and swayed. Music played a serenade. A brother left a trail of crumbs. A girl was born, small as a thumb, like Thumbelina. A beanstalk rose into the sky. Aladdin found his princess bride, and lights wink, wink, winked like stars. Through war, through time, her art lives on for all the world, for everyone. So you can clap and you can smile for Lottie and her magic. Wow, I've learned so much in this book. I was reading it for the first time with you. I wanted to discover what this was all about with these puppets. So um, hang out with me for a second because I know that the, the pictures are over and they were beautiful, but I want to know more about her in this author note here. If you haven't heard of Lottie Reininger, Reining, Reininger, before the story, you've likely seen animated films influenced by her works. Okay, like which ones? Uh, a Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, and uh, To the Tale of the Three Brothers in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Those you've probably heard of. Born in Germany in 1899, she loved shadow puppets and the cinema from a young age, and she combined these arts to create innovative films, including the first feature-length animated film, The Adventures of Prince Ahmed, over a decade before Walt Disney's Snow White. Now, I thought that Walt Disney's Snow White was the first full-length movie cartoon. Before that, they were shorts, you know? Uh, but now, I'm learning that there was this one called The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. 
created by Lottie, who also invented a multiplane camera to make stop motion animation with her paper puppets. That's a technique that makes, lets you keep moving the puppets and shooting frame by frame. It's very, very painstaking work to make it look like they're moving. That's how you bring the paper puppets to life. Wow, this was so fascinating. And look, these are some of the famous silhouettes. And Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. I know you've heard of that. She did Sleeping Beauty. She did Thumbelina, Puss in Boots, Cinderella, Jack and the Beanstalk. All the classic fairy tales. And yes, yes, Walt Disney did a lot of them afterwards too. These were classic fairy tales that a lot of people retold in different ways. And that is a beautiful picture of her paper puppets. Wow. My mind is kind of blown right now. I thought that that was an incredible story of this girl um, who grew up to become this amazing, amazing uh, filmmaker and invented so much. And during a war, no less, that is a big deal. Did she make a pickle? Mm. I don't think she made a pickle. Oh, that's too bad because then she probably would have been even more successful because everybody knows that it's all about the pickle puppets. <laughs> No, everybody knows that it's all about evil witches and if she's done a puppet about me. But you don't want to be in the movies. I know, but if she had put me in the movies, which you've actually been in. No, I have not. But if she had put me in the movies, it probably would have been a big hit and everybody would want to do like sequels and dolls and things like that. But uh, I am uh, a well-kept secret. <laughs> I, I don't think she understands who she is. Ah, I think that she should have done more bears. Mm, you're probably right. That's probably a huge regret that she has. But still, that's pretty cool. I'd like to like see if I could find that movie somewhere. Do you think it's like uh, on a streamer somewhere? I don't. I don't think so. But now I'm now I'm curious. Now I'm gonna have to go look for this movie. Okay. And if you find it, call me because I want to see this this puppet stuff. Even though there's no green bear and it's not fluffy, but I'm willing to open my mind and consider something new. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. And thank you for joining me. Stay creative. Thank you for um, reading this book with me and discovering Lottie with me. Um, that was kind of a magical book, right? And I love people who make magic, who love magic, and who, who make the world more magical. And that's exactly what I want you to go and do. See you next time, kid.